What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys an unburdened Driftblend team for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to unburdened, we have seen a ton of it, considering Sneasler is taking over the meta with it, using Grassy Seeds, Psychic Seeds, I've seen it use Normal Gem, and even the Focus Ash. But in today's video, we're using Driftblimp with the Psychic Seeds, pairing it up next to Indeedee to get this Pokemon rolling. Now, Driftblimp has one of the dopest typings of all time. It is a Ghost and Flying type Pokemon. Like, how many are there? I cannot name another one. There might be one more. Nah, I'm not too sure. If there is, somebody let me know in the comment section down below. But this Pokemon can really do it all. It's got Acrobatics, it's got Tailwind, it's got Will-O-Wisp and Strength Sap. So it can recover its own HP, it can burn physical attackers, it can set up Speed Control, and on top of that, it can do big time damage with Acrobatics, which actually does double damage if you do not have an item. So Unburden, Acrobatics, really strong combo that we've seen in past games, but we're rocking out with it today. Like I mentioned, we got Indeedee over here. Indeedee can set the Psychic Terrain. It also has Expanded Force, and it has Skill Swap. If we just want to like reset Terrain, it works well. It definitely does. Our final four Pokemon are pretty standard meta Pokemon. You got Life Orb Garchomp, Choice Band Arcanine, Amoongus, and Primarina. Now, Primarina is going to be our special attacker with Haze. Garchomp and Arcanine obviously going to be our heavy hitters on the physical attacking side. And Amoongus, our support guy with Sludge Bombs, so we can actually do respectable damage. Guys, want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Unburdened Driftblim. First match on its way, and it looks like we're going up against a Magnezone team. Now, Magnezone is a dope off-meta Pokemon. They also got Hisui and Samurott. They got Mai Shao, Indeedee, Sneasler, and Volcarona. So they could definitely go into, like, Sneasler and Indeedee and get those Psychic Seeds rolling. I'm going to actually do the same thing on my side. I'm going to go into my Indeedee. I'm going to go into Driftblim. I'm going to get the Psychic Seed rolling. That's the plan here. I like that a lot. I could also go into Garchomp here. I think Garchomp has a lot of value, so I am going to end up going into this Pokemon. And last but not least, I could go pre. Marine is not bad here. It's going to be super effective onto the uh, the Volcarona and the Mai Shao. Or I could go in with like maybe support Amoongus or even like choice band Arcanine could be solid. We're just going to have to watch out for like his Suin Samurai or even like Sneasel with close combat. Or even Mai Shao. I got E-Speed. You know what? We're going to go in with Arcanine. E-Speed comes up clutch, man. E-Speed comes up clutch, especially with like Unburdened Sneasler. If, like, that thing's down to its focus action, it's just teeing off on your team. You need something to outspeed it. E-Speed always comes up clutch. But, again, on the other hand, we're going to have to watch out for that Psychic Terrain. But that's why I brought Arcanine in our last spot. Because usually by the time you hit your last Pokemon, sometimes, I would say 50% of the time, the, the terrain effects are gone. So we're going to end up going into Sneasler and Samurott. Now, hopefully there, indeed, isn't Psychic Seeds. Because I would hate to just pop it and give him a free Psychic Seeds pop. But Driftblim's going to pop, and I believe they do not have Psychic Seeds, which is good news for us, right? And we're going to see an Air Balloon. Who's got the Air Balloon? The Sneasler's got the Air Balloon. The Sneasler's rocking Air Balloon. I could just start throwing Burns. These are two physical attackers. These are two physical attackers, and I think Burn could just be your best friend. I could just burn the Samurott and maybe just follow me or even expand in Force here. So what could Sneasler have? It could have Throw Chop. I could just go into Grass Terror type, but you know what? I'm just going to throw a Burn into Samurott. And I'm just going to drop an Expanded Force if we can. Deal some damage into the Sneasler. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. We're going to see a Terror type pop out here early on. It could be Dark type from the Sneasler. That could be scary because Throw Chop is a thing. But we should outspeed the Sneasler right now, which is good news. So he's going to end up going in Dark type. Our Expanded Force is going to do absolutely nothing. Bad news on that end. Bad news on that end. So will us is going to connect. That's massive. That's step one here. That's, that's, that's big. So we burn a nice physical attacker. We like that a lot. Who could be just attacking in DD here? Let's see. Expanded Force is going to do absolutely nothing. We got two dark types on the field now. Um, and we'll see what they want to do. You're going to go for Dire Claw. That's fine. You can attack my DD all day. Wow, that damage is absurd. Night Slash is going to launch, which is that critting? Did that just crit me? Yeah, it, it crit me. So my burn does pretty much nothing. I was going to say Driftwim should be able to survive here. It should be able to thrive out. And of course, like the crit pops out here and I just get absolutely ripped. <laughs> the crit. All right. Um, Again, we know Sneasler has the air balloon. I could just go into you and intimidate, which would probably be my best bet. Yeah, I'm for that. I'm for that. So we're going to intimidate here. Um, Indeedee. What could you do right now? The intimidate flies. We're kind of going to target down this Sneasler, right? We could just go for rock slides. I mean, rock slides aren't bad. I could go into grass, Terra. 
Tyra Blast if I want to. We are going to be choice banning, which is a slight issue here. I'm going to go Rock Slide. And if I can, I, I'd rather just go for Tyra Blast, maybe just double down in this slot. Let's see. Protect from the scenes, like great call on their end. At least Rock Slide double hits here. He's probably going to go for Water Move. I wonder how much damage this Water Move is going to do. I really wish we had a Drift Balloon. I'm trying to get rid of this Air Balloon too, man. Air Balloon is really annoying me. So Rock Slide is going to pop through here. It's going to connect onto the Samurott, which is nice. Do respectable damage. Can we get a flinch? And no, Aqua Cutter is going to fly and... What, what do I have to do? Are you scope lens? What are you? You are just critting left and right. You're minus one on attack. You are burned. You should not be critting and doing all this damage. It's just ruining everything. It's just ruining everything. Absolutely ruining everything. I, I don't I, I really have no idea what to do. I really don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. We could go fire terror here, which is probably our mm, Aqua Cutter scaring me, man. <laughs> Aqua Cutter is really scaring me. Gotta go Dragon Call here. We're gonna go for I guess just a Terra Blast, but thing is I have to pop air balloon. Get rid of focus. Or pop air balloon and then be able to go for EQs. I'm gonna Terra Fire here. I know he has a water type on the field, but come on, man. Are you gonna crit three times in a row? This is just terrible. This is ugly. This is this is so ugly. Oh my lord. Let's see what we got going here. Dragon Call is gonna outspeed, which is great news. Do massive amounts of damage. And bring it down to one. Cool. Awesome. That's big. That's big for us. Caesar's gonna go for Dire Claw. We soaked that all day. Do not put me to sleep. Bro. Bro, I'ma lose it. I'ma lose it! I'ma lose it. Luff Luckily, Rough Skin is going to KO here. Oh my lord. The RNG is abysmal. That is the only word I can think of this. Abysmal. Rough Skin picks up the KO. Terra Blast slides over. Terra Blast, can you pick up a KO? You do. Okay. If we weren't asleep, we... we Oh my lord, I just wanna I wanna take this game and just give it to the garbage man. Tell him to take it. Take it, crush it up, take it far, far away. I don't care what you do with it. Two crits and a sleep. And now Volcarona comes out here, which I would love our guard champ to be awake to be able to drop some big time EQs here. It would be lovely. It would be lovely, but we can't. Because for some reason Dire Call has gotta be the most OP move in all of the land and just rip up into me. Put me to sleep. Um, okay. From here, we're going through Dragon Claw again. I'm going to try to go for Expanded Force. How fast are you, Ndidi? I don't think my Ndidi's that fast. 161. Actually, hold up. Hold up, Ndidi. Might be able to rip up some damage here. Let's see what you got here. Nope, you're outspeeding me. That could be a choice scarf, Ndidi. That's going to be game, set, match. Garchomp soaks, but it's going to be asleep this turn. It's going to be asleep. We stand zero chance, plus that Ndidi outspeeds us. Yeah. Thanks for playing. RNG doing us as dirty as it can in match number one. We're just going to run this one. Let's go hop through a second match. Let's put that last match in the past. Come on, man. RNG doing me so dirty. Not one crit, but two crits and then a sleep with the Dire Claw. Come on. Come on. I, I purposely burned that Samurai and even intimidated it because I didn't want it doing that much damage, but... Nonetheless, it's still crit it. It just went crazy on me. But we're going up against Titar Extra Drill. Look at the bounce back here in match number two. They also have Sneasler. They got Indeedee just like us. On top of that, they got Electabuzz and Intimidate onto the Salamence. Okay, they got a lot of physical attackers, which is good news for my Drift Blim. I mean, I can just go into Indeedee and Drift Blim and get rolling from there. I like Arcanine here because Intimidate can work wonders as well. And last but not least, probably Garchomp again. I think same squad really works out well here. I really do like the guard chomp. The Chomsky is just a fast, heavy hitter with the light form. Does a lot of damage. It does a lot of damage. We obviously could have brought Primarina. Primarina could have actually been really good, but I just think with Sneasel on the field, Sneasel just does it dirty. It really does. And extra drill if Sandstorm's out. It's gonna outspeed and just be able to hit us with a steel move. It's just it's just like, come on, man. What, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? So I'm just gonna play it safe going with our, our guard Chomsky. And we're gonna go from there. We are gonna go from there. So Titar extra will come out here. Um my second seeds do pop. I'm guessing clear amulet onto the T tar. Someone's got the clear amulet. That's that's the problem. Someone's got the clear amulet, and we know it. And we know it. I'm guessing it's T tar. So I'm gonna burn the T tar here early on. I am gonna terra grass. I'm gonna terra grass here. 
I'm just trying try to throw some burns. I'm gonna try to do what we did last match and just land some burns. So I'm gonna go into Will O' Wisp there, and I'm gonna hard swap into Extra here, or not Extra uh, Arcanine, just for Intimidates. It just works good. It just works good. I'm kind of hoping if anybody, I'm hoping none of them are clear amulet, but if any of them are clear amulet, I would hope it's a T-Tar, which is why I'm burning it. So that's gonna be the plan. And we are terrestrializing grass for obvious reasons. Rock slides go crazy up against strip wind, so I'd rather terrestrialize grass here. Let's see what they end up doing. Let's see. We just got to burn all these physical attackers. We got strength sap. We got burns. All that stuff could work wonders. So we're swapping in DD. We will save it for later. Expanded force does go crazy. Um, I'll get my, get my Arcanine out here. So let's see. Anybody clear amulet? Not extra drill. Not T-Tar. I love that. I love that. I love that. I adore that. I adore that. But we're going to see a terror type pop out here. Turn one. It is going to be into the extra drill slot. The extra drill is going straight dragon type. Okay. Dragon cheer? No, no way. The T Tar doesn't learn dragon cheer, does it? I'll be so annoyed because I'll be like, dude, the crits are doing me so dirty today. But I terrestrialize my own drift, but I'm just not dealing with rock slide. I don't feel like it. Not dealing with rock slide. And we'll see how this one plays out. Got my grass terror on. Iron Head's gonna launch in this slot. It will still do a huge chunk of damage. You are life orb, so that's fair. And Will O' Wisp is going to connect, which is massive. So we connect to Will O' Wisp. Hey, how you're outspeeding me because I would, mm, I would love to just go for a strength sap here. Knockoff's gonna fly and actually take off our choice ban. Choice ban gone. Um, Drift Bloom's gonna get buffed here. Um, I think he goes for another Iron Head because I would love to just strength sap here. I would really like that. I would also like to set up a Tailwind. I'm going to go for a Strength Sap if I can. Strength Sap, that slot, and just Rock Slide across the board. Look for maybe some flinches. My choice band, though. Not my choice band. Not my choice band. So we got to burn onto the T Tar. That's, that, that's huge. That's huge. That's step one there. I'm surprised that Iron Head still did that much damage into me. He ends up withdrawing the T Tar. That's fine. The T Tar with the withdrawal. And he's going to bounce into who here? Maybe even Salmons. It's going to be Salmons. So he's going to intimidate my Arcanine. That's fine. I actually, that intimidates my Drift Bloom too, because Acrobatic's physical attacking move. And EQ's going to launch here. That's fine. That's fine, because my Drift Bloom soaks that. My Drift Bloom doesn't soak it. Drift Bloom. Okay. 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 Th another crit. Another crit. Like, what is going on? We're playing so fine. We are playing perfectly fine. All these plays are... We're, we're, we're good with it. We're fine. I wouldn't have mind losing my, my Arcanine there. That would have just strength sap and then tailwind the next turn. But with the, I can't fathom what's going on here. I, I, I can't understand. What, what is going on here? What? Just, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. I, I, I guess I'm not meant to understand. I guess I'm not meant to understand. Okay. Fine. Whatever. We're going to do this. We're going to go straight into Expanded Force. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. How fast is Salamence? Because it, it can jerk a meteor me away and just pretty much win. I'm hoping we just outspeed it slightly. Both my Pokemon and we can just get rid of it. Because they don't have Terra type anymore. They could protect extra. This is just crazy. This is crazy. T-Tar, I'm not too worried about. Again, it's burned. That's good. He's going to end up withdrawing here. And it looks like you're going to go into T-Tar again, right? I hope not, but probably, right? Yeah, you are going to go into T-Tar. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. You are air ballooned. And EQ is going to launch here. So EQ launch and how much damage is doing? So much damage. An absurd amount of damage. <laughs> Dragon Claw launches. Ch chunks up damage there. Air balloon pops. How much damage is expanded force doing? This is the real question. Maybe we should have just taken out the, uh, the extra, but I'm hoping this can. Let's see. Really? Thanks. One HP. Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> One HP. <laughs> Burns can chunk away. And we'll go from here. Um, looks like I just gotta go for EQ and protect. Looks like EQ protects the play. You could go protect EQ as well. But I'm doing it. I'm going EQ protect. 
<laughs> this is absurd. This is absurd. He is gonna go for EQ protect. Which is totally fine. Um Garchomp should be able to soak this. Garchomp for the soak. Garchomsky for the soak. Cool. Awesome. Dope. I'm gonna be able to get rid of extra drill here. So extra drill actually died out the life form. That's fine by me. That is fine by me. Let's see how this next turn plays out. EQ launches. It's gonna intimidate me as well, which is just oh man, it's absurd. And Buffett's gonna fly. Indeed, he soaks his Buffett, which is good. And Burns gonna chip him up a little bit. A Dragon Claw will KO. The T Tar, which is good news. They probably bring back out Salamence, and that pretty much wraps up the game. But dude, that that crit was just like another game changing crit. Back to back game changing crits. I, I I really don't know how how else to put it. I really don't. I really don't. I gotta go for a Dragon Call. I gotta take out T Tar. Unless no, T Tar's not gonna protect. I have to attack T Tar. I guess I'll just go for Expanded Force again. It's our it's our best option. It it. It legit is. We need Dragon Call to KO. We need to outspeed. Maybe we can get a crit. A crit with Expanded Force would be lovely right now. He ends up just withdrawing T-Tar. So I could have just Dragon Clawed the Salamence. But I'm not sure if the Salamence is just outspeeding us for the win here. Let's see. Like the Buzz comes out to play. And he's going to protect. Hold up. Give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Because Dragon Claw launching this slot. Doing solid damage. I am losing some HP to life for him. Slowly but surely. And Expanded Force flying out here. Expanding force. Launching some damage here. Bye bye. There's a crit, but I, th I honestly think we were KOing you regardless. So we're trying to bat. Dude, we win this match no problem if I keep my Drift Blim. Because if they don't crit, I Strength Sap. I lower the attack stat of... Of, uh, Exodrill. And on top of that... On top of that, we... What's it called? On top of that, we will be able to, uh... Heal up our Drift Blim, which is beautiful. Exactly what we want. And then we, we just kind of thrive out from there. We keep another Pokemon who could do some damage. But from here, we know we outspeed the T-Tar. Salamence, on the other hand, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to double down into that slot. What would do more? They kind of do the same amount of damage here. And I guess I'll just expand and force it into the Salamence slot. And he ends up protecting T-Tar. Hold up. Give me a chance here. Give me a chance, because I know indeed he's dead here. If Life Orb doesn't KO us and we both outspeed, we got a shot here. Oh my god, Indeedee outspeed. Indeedee outspeed. Did Life Orb KO me? It did not, and Indeedee doesn't outspeed. And they live on one HP. This is just absurd today. This is just absurd today. You live on one HP to win that match. I win that match if that Salamence doesn't survive. Or if my Indeedee outspeeds. This is just... I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how to explain it to you guys. This is crazy right now. Alright, our RNG might be... Hot garbage right now, but we're gonna bounce back here. I do not go 0-3 on the channel. We almost put off a victory in that last match. We're going for gold here. We're looking to win it all. We're going up against Mimikyu, Archlua, Hitsui, and Zoruk. They got Indeedee and Armourouge. I still want to go Drift Bomb. I still like Drift Bomb here. Like, the burns are phenomenal. Acrobatics can do damage. We're going Indeedee and Drift Bomb right off the rip. So, I like this lead right here. Um, in the back end, Garchomp. Great. We definitely want Garchomp. And last but not least, we actually might want to go Primarina this round. I like Primarina. I like where I would want a special attacker, especially up against Arch Luan, if it is stamina boosting. So that is what I want to do here. That is exactly what I want to do. If I had to guess, it's probably Sturdy Power Herb Arch Luan. And we can try to, you know, kind of go around that. But it's going to be tough either way. We're sitting 0-2. First match, crits were terrible. Second match... Another crit happened with extra drill. Like, we are burning these physical attackers, and they're just bypassing everything by just critting. And it's just like, come on, man. This is getting out of hand. This is so getting out of hand. But Arch Ludon, indeed, he come out here turn one. It seems like, like I mentioned, probably power herb sturdy onto their Arch Ludon. So I might just want to thrasalize my Drift Blim and try to just, you know, do my thing, right? We got special defense boost, which is great. I can see him going for Electro Shot in the Drift Blim, which is why I would rather thrasalize. I think I'm just going to Acrobatics here and just try to get after this Indeedee. Let's go Expanded Force as well. Yeah, let's see how much damage Expanded Force can do. Let's just see. Like, it's in the terrain. It, it does damage. Let's let's give it a roll. I could actually go for a... Oh, that's what I should have done. That's what Gene should have done. I'll do it next turn. I'll do it next turn. I should have skill-swapped the Arch Ludon. 
But I think it's sturdy. I don't think it's... I, I, I don't believe it to be stamina. I think it's sturdy power herb. I really do. Guess we're going to find out here. So, big time terror coming out from your boy right here. I swear, if they crit me here, I'm gonna I'm getting off. This fist is going right through my monitor. And then the switch is going out the window. <laughs> all, all, all in one motion. It's going to be sweet. The acrobat's going to launch here do beautiful damage. Beautiful damage. And this is not... All right, this is not Arch Ludon. It gets me every time. It gets me every time. You get, of course, you get an attack drop. I think it always gets an attack drop. But Expanded Force launches, and it says bye bye. Oh yes, bye bye Zork. So that's a hot start for us. That's a hot start. Now we know they have Arch Ludon. Do I skill swap it? I might just skill swap it if it's stamina. We don't want it to stamina boost, right? If it's stamina boost, we don't want it to because my my guard champ can deal with that. My guard chomp can really deal with that. So we might just want to skill swap it. Depending on who their second Pokemon is that they're bringing in here. But Chance Star Drift Bombs outspeed and everything. I could just Tailwind. My back end Pokemon outspeed the Arch Ludon, so that's good. And they're going to bring out Sneasler. Now Sneasler, on the other hand. Sneasler, on the other hand, is going to pop it. It's Psychic Seeds. And that's going to go Unburden Boost as well. Um, You could have Dark Terror type. You could have Dark Terror type. I kind of want just want to go for a Tailwind here. But I mean, Acrobatics would be awesome if I can pull it off. I'm going to go for Acrobatics. And we're going to hope that you don't Thrasilize Dark. There's a hot chance you're doing that, though. You know what? We're just going to play it safe and go Skill Swap here into the, into the Arch Ludon. We can't really allow it to be Stamina Boost. And just go crazy. I think you're in Dark Terra. And you don't. Wow, we could have just ripped up into you. All right. We could have just ripped up into you. Expanded Force would have worked wonders. We could just KO'd it. We could just KO'd. I always hate when I overthink plays. But I mean, skill swap's gonna fly out here. Hopefully, this thing's stamina. Let's see. It was stamina. Good call on my end. Great call on my end. Get rid of that stamina. Get it out of here. I don't feel like dealing with that. You're gonna go for a mirror coat. Yeah, it's gonna fail. Okay. That works fine. So now I can just go into Chomsky's if I want to. And I could drop an EQ. Or I could just go pre. I'm gonna throw one there. You still got Focus Ash, which is beautiful. That is beautiful. Um, hmm. Who do I want to go into here? I don't have Terra anymore. We're gonna go into Guard Chomp because that call is just—it's too much. It's too much. Maybe I should have went in the Primarina and just protected it, but I'm cool with the Chomp. I'm cool with the Chomp. From here, I'm going to go stomp the tantrum this slot, and I'm just going to launch an expanded force. Let's do this. Let's do this. Well, I could have just won the match last turn if I would have just popped the expanded force. I still have focus, Ash. Let's see. Let's see. So, Drift Blim getting some work done here. Acrobatics going crazy, doing big time damage. And then, Indeedy cleaning up the mess with expanded force. And he's going to end up going for throw chop. We got Sash, which is beautiful. And Indeedy should outspeed Arch Ludon. This should be beautiful for us. This should be perfect. It should be a golden chance. Plus, I get a stamina boost, which is just lovely. Zombie Tantrum going to launch. And it will say bye-bye to you. Expanded Force will chip up a little bit of damage. But most importantly, it's not going to trigger stamina. And we don't have to worry about this thing just bulking up through defense. Let's see how much damage this does. Respect. That's respectable damage right there. Flash Cannon's going to launch. And they end up taking out Indeedee. So that pretty much puts us in a, in a position to win. I was going to say, because... If they take out Garchomp, I was going to be like, okay, Indeedee's hitting a little light. We still got Primarina. But, I mean, keeping Garchomp on the field is just a big mess. Now, I could go for Dragon Call, but a lot of a lot of Archer Lines will rock with the Fairy Terror. So, I just think going in with Stomping Tantrum is a safe play. So, I'm just going to go Stomping Tantrum and I just Moon Blast, play it safe. And I told you guys, we're bouncing back here. RNG not doing us dirty here in match number three. And we're going to be able to take this victory. Get on out of here, Arch Ludon. I am glad that I also uh, skill swapped that Arch Ludon. That was just a big time play for us. But they're not going to end up using Terra. And Samba Kitch is just going to clean up this match. GG saw our opponent. We're one, we got one and two for today's video. We grab ourselves a loser record, but still, I feel like we showcase this team really well. Drift Whim, Drift Whim, Drift Whim. This Pokemon, super strong in today's video. Would have been 10 times better if crits weren't a thing. Or if crits didn't happen, because... This Pokemon burned up a bunch of strong physical attackers and was actually doing really well. Third and final match, 
we were able to throw it out use it on the more attacking side with acrobatics and you guys seen it did big time damage and ended up winning that match but again one and two for today's video did not showcase the justice of this pokemon the one and two record is obsolete this pokemon was phenomenal hopefully you guys did see that but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread positive today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody